guys welcome back to my channel lately I've been getting a lot of requests for green looks so I decided to do this emerald look for you guys and it's a perfect look for the fall or a nice dramatic look for transitioning from summer to fall because I did keep a lot of warm tones for this look so now we are going in with our brows I'm just using the precisely my brow from benefit it's my favorite product from their recent launches for brow products to prime my eyes, I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and a Luxie 229 Taper Blending Brush. I love my Luxie brushes, as you guys know, because they are synthetic, so I can use them for cream or powder. And they are all synthetic, vegan, and cruelty-free. And I do have a coupon code with Luxie in case you want to pick some up. And it's just Cheryl if you want to save 20%. Right now I'm just applying some translucent powder to my lid to set that paint pot so that the other shadows I apply on top blend a little bit better. Now I'm going in with orange soda from Anastasia and a 227 blending brush from Luxie. And this is my favorite blending brush. If you were only to pick up one from Luxie, this is the one I recommend above all others. It's my absolute favorite. With this first shade, I'm just making the outline of where I want my crease to be and I'm just gradually deepening it up and I'm going to go in with several shades from Anastasia just to continue to deepen up that crease and get the desired depth that I'm looking for. But the second color I'm going in with is Caramel and this is from Anastasia as well. I'm still using that same 227 brush and I'll be using this for my crease. I love how it's shaped and it gets a nice soft cut crease look which I'm going for. I'm not going for a super cut crease look. This is just really soft so I'm just deepening out the outer edge of the eye look and I'm only lightly dragging this color in. So most of the concentration will be on the outer portion. Always in between the colors I lay down I like to go in and blend the shadow just to make sure everything is seamless and well blended so I keep a 205 on hand just to blend in between each application of color. So now I'm going in with a deeper shade and a smaller brush and this is Morocco from Anastasia and this is a 237 blending brush. This is a really unique brush. This is small, long, and fluffy, and as you can see, I'm adjusting my hand lower onto the handle of the brush, and this is just going to give a really light application of color because it is deeper and I don't want it to go too intense. So that's a tip I give. Always hold it at the very end if you want less control and a lighter application, and if you need more control, like for my lid shade I'm using right now, I'm patting on that color. This is the emerald color from Anastasia. Then I hold the brush closer to the ferrule which is that metal part you see on all makeup brushes. So now I'm just applying that emerald color to both eyes and I'm getting it as close to my crease as I can but you can see there's a little bit of space of color so that's when I'm going in with this precision brush and it's just a small angled precision brush and I'm using a bit of that emerald just to really cut that crease but I also am keeping it soft. So I'm just going in and filling in the gaps where I couldn't get in with that eyeshadow brush and just really cutting that crease. To bring some more depth to my crease, I am going to combine Sienna and Deep Plum on a small angled brush like I was using before and just put this above the green but very low in the crease to bring more dimension and to help cut the outer corner of that crease. Now I'm taking the Moon Dust palette from Urban Decay in the shade Lightyear, which is the green shade in the palette. I wanted to use this so bad. <laughs> and I'm applying this with that same shader brush I used before and just packing on that color to my lid. Along with a pop of color, I really wanted this focus of this look to be on liner. So I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion Liquid Eyelining Pen. This is new to me and I think it's a new product in general but it's very saturated, has a very fine point, so I found it really easy to use, but I'm just creating my wings with this and just using my eyeshadow as a guideline. I have a bunch of videos planned for the near future of doing like a back to basic series. I started doing that, I think it might have been two years ago. <laughs> I did a back to basic series, but I'm 
thinking about continuing it if you want to see maybe a focus on eyeliner and just basic makeup tips. I wanted to go into brushes, do an eyeliner one, and I had a bunch of different ideas. So let me know if you're interested. I did want to get a new camera so I can do really close up shots and just have it really educational in a way because I haven't really done those in a long time. So let me know if you want to see more in-depth basic makeup looks and really teach you about eyeliner, brushes, and just a bunch of basic things because I think that has been lacking on YouTube lately and I'd love to do that for you guys. So now I'm going in with my Smashbox primer. I was just prepping my face with that Glam Glow Glow Starter and I'm using the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer just on my problem areas where I do tend to have larger pores or maybe some oil. So I'm just patting that in. And then I'm using my Grand Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. Every time I use this, you guys compliment me on my lips, but it really does work and it definitely plumps up your lips. But if you do not like anything that burns or tingles your lips, you will not like this. So stay clear, but it definitely does work in my opinion. So now I'm going in with my favorite foundation ever, which is the L'Oreal Pro Glow and favorite foundation ever. I love this stuff. I can't stop using it. It literally is perfection to me. I described it and why I love it so much in my favorites video that went up for July. It's just, literally the perfect in every aspect for my skin and I'm using a MAC 170 brush to apply it and it's just perfection to me. Can't say anything else about it but it is perfection. <laughs> then for concealer I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and I think this really complements this foundation well. I mentioned this also in another video that certain concealers work better with different foundations because this foundation is definitely a full coverage on me. This is a full coverage concealer and I just think the consistency really complements and highlights the foundation nicely and blends in seamlessly with the foundation. So definitely recommend this combo if you have not tried it because it has been working wonderfully for me. Going back to my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm just going to bake my under eye with my beauty blender and I'm just heavily applying this, letting it sit there and then I'm going to use my beauty blender and a little less, well a lot less, <laughs> loose powder to set the rest of my face. To bronze up my skin, I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and a MAC 135 brush. To contour, I'm using my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit in the light medium and mixing the two contour shades. And I'm using my Luxie 207 medium angled shading brush to contour my nose. Best brush to contour my nose right now for powder. I love it. You can also use it for cream if you want because it is syn synthetic, but I do love this for powder. Now I'm taking a little bit of Gator Wings from Tarte and Graveyard Girls Swamp Queen palette and I'm using a very small brush to apply this to my cheeks because that highlight has an excessive amount of fallout, glitter fallout, so I have to be really careful. I love how it looks, how it looks wet on the skin, but I do have to delicately apply it to my face or I'll get glitter everywhere. Also recommend knocking off your brush before you apply it to your face as well, but I'm just using this to highlight points of my face. I'm using it underneath my brow, inner corner, and also down my nose as well.
For blush, I'm using the shade Passionate from the Sephora brand and it's such a pretty color. I thought it complemented the look really well. I ended up picking up this blush because I saw Kylie Jenner snap about it, but I really do love it and the formula is fantastic. I don't find it patchy or streaky and it's really long lasting. This look is heavily focused on liner as I said, so I am using my favorite pencil which is from YSL. It is waterproof, it's their black one. So I'm putting this on my waterline and bringing it all the way into the inner corner. To set the liner and make it even more black along the lash line, I'm using Corrupt from Makeup Geek. You can use any black you have, but this is the blackest I own. To complete the look, I'm going to use this combo from Gerard Cosmetics. I'm using Sheer Lip Pencil and one of their new Hydra Mattes in Mile High. It's one of my favorite colors they have ever come out with for their Hydra Matte line. It's really pretty and I thought it complemented the emerald eyes really nicely. So that's going to complete the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know last year I created a ton of looks for fall and I'm hoping to do the same this year as well as do that back to basics series if you guys are interested. So let me know in the comments section below if you are are. Thank you so so much for watching as always. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel out a lot. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.